Hey guys, welcome to ARM Accounting. This is Andrew Molo, CPA and QuickBooks Pro Advisor. Today I'm going to show you how to set up categories for property rentals. When it comes to organizing books for a property rental business, the challenge is to be able to categorize every transaction by the property or property unit it pertains to. Business reports such as profit and loss statements should also be modified in a way that uh, profitability on a per property unit basis can be displayed. How do we accomplish that in QuickBooks Online? We're about to find out. There are two special categories in QuickBooks Online that helps us classify transactions without the need for additional GL accounts. And that's namely class and location. So for this tutorial, we're going to use location. Note that this feature is only available in the plus and advanced version. First, we need to activate locations uh, in the account and settings. So let's click on the gear icon and click on account and settings. Then go to advanced and go to categories. Then let's switch locations on and hit save. Then click on done. Now locations would represent the properties we're leasing out. So in order to add locations, click on the gear icon and click on all list. Then choose locations. And then click on new. Now let's name this location Cedar Crest. Then hit save. Okay, now let's assume that Cedar Crest is a condominium that has five two bedroom units. Now these units will be represented in the books by sub locations. So in order to create sub locations, click on new. Then let's name this unit one. Then click on this box and make it a sub location of Cedar Crest. Then hit save. Now you can create as many locations and sublocations as you want in the advanced version and about a maximum of 40 in the plus version. Now Cedar Crest is complete. Let's start creating our transactions. Now I'm creating an invoice for Mr. and Mrs. Cooper who are the occupants of Cedar Crest Unit 1. Now since locations affect both the source and the target lines, we can only apply one location for every transaction. Now let's choose unit one. Then let's choose rentals. And for the rate, let's say $800. Then let's hit save and new. Now let's create one invoice for each of the remaining units. Now I'm creating an expense transaction for Cedar Crest unit one. Let's choose repairs and maintenance, utilities expense, and miscellaneous expenses. For the amount, let's put 250 for this one, uh, $300 for this one, and uh, $400 for this one. Then let's hit save and new. Now let's do the same to each of the remaining units. Okay, now we're going to customize our profit and loss statement. So on the left navigation pane, click on reports. And on the standard tab, click on profit and loss. Then let's click on this drop down list. And then let's display the columns by locations. And then we click on run report. Now you can see the profit and loss statement for each of the units of Cedar Crest. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you find this helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.